Alright, what's good, Joe? I, uh, so I'm doing a, a lot today, actually, but for now, I'm just gonna kind of talk about a couple things, go over an update um, on the E46. So right now, I just got done uh, putting the seat. Okay, I got a new seat, uh, NRG Prisma Ultra. Okay, got it in this green color. Um, it's kind of like suede Alcantara. It's actually really nice. I like it a lot. Um, I don't like the gold. It's kind of hot boy. But anyway, I got a planted uh, bracket here. Okay, I got this from Drift HQ. This is the only spot I could find it for the sedan. Um, literally, it's the only place that could sell this freaking bracket. Um, so it's got, this is how we're, it's got the Prisma, you know, mounts that come with the seat. And then on the planted bracket. And then these holes actually just line right up. It makes it so easy. No cutting necessary, no cutting involved. Everything's actually just fitting real nice. So I'll go over here to the car. And as you can see, I have my connector here for the seat, which I'll no longer need. Um, I can stop this away. Uh, probably something, something like that. Stuff it away or so. I don't know. Let's try to see if I can. that away okay these are the rear bolts this seat belt buckle bolt okay that went here those bolts are hotter than hell these are the fronts okay 16 millimeter uh, and this is going to be the install of the seat basically i got m8 bolts uh with nuts here and that's just how that is uh bolts it to it uh, it doesn't come with any hardware so you're gonna have to supply your own um, at least that was my experience with it where I bought it. So let me go ahead and get this in the car. Uh, pass back and I'll be right back. All right, seat is in. Looks great. I haven't sat in it yet, so the seated positioning. It looks maybe a little close, but we'll figure it out. I don't have any sliders. I'm on a fixed position bracket here, so unless I want to cut into it, uh, probably just have to live with it. But anyway. 16 mil, okay, 16 mil, You're using the original nuts, okay, just uh, tighten down the bracket to the chassis, all right, and then the bolt back here, you're going to use this same bolt in this position right here, this 16 as well, and then what you want to do is take the seat belt hook, okay, it's the same thread pitch, just a shorter bolt, put that one down there, so as you can see, you only have much room to put a long bolt, so it's literally right there, and you're not going to be able to put a long bolt. So, that's what you got. So, yeah, if I've got full, yeah, this is going to be a little close, but here she is. Here's the back side of the seat. Not touching over here. You know, a lot of, lot of good stuff. Uh, I think it is going to be a little close, but let me go test it out now and just see what I, see the seat's like. It's in there. It's a little flimsy because the seat itself, but um, yeah, it's in there for sure. Okay. Let's test it out and let's see what I think about the positioning and everything. Boom. <clears throat> oh. I mean, it's a little close, but. It's not that bad. Might be able to even take this out, lower myself just a little bit. Yeah, although that doesn't really feel too right. Not sure they let me on the track like that, but yeah. Here we are. Now this was not my preferred color choice by any means, but it is what it is. I got what they had. And then, top it all off, you got these caps, okay, slide that cap back on, and the other one over here, if you can get it, you can slide this one on, although it's not feeling like it's going to fit, so I'm not going to bother, it's hidden anyway, but the one that's exposed, and the one that's exposed, so those two, 
looks good. Looks great. Let's grab this. Put this back. Boom. There she is. All right. So now um, it's gonna be time to kind of unbox a, a couple other things that I got. Um, I got a big box here. Okay. Got my harness bar. Okay. And I got my NRG seat belts there. All right. So it was the seat, the brackets, the harness bar, and uh, the belts and the buckle. Okay. We're using the five point buckle system. So we're going to have the bar. It's going to go behind here. It's going to go into the pillars. Okay. It's going to mount down here. It's going to mount down here as well. Okay. Not exactly sure where because this thing bolted into the seat. Uh, I guess we'll figure it out. Not exactly sure. Or maybe this is for the harness bar right there. That might be able to work. Not sure. Anyway, um, stay tuned for the next video. Um, that will be this video. It'll be a continuation, but uh, got to spread out the content. So uh, yeah, let's uh, finish this off with peeling this off. thing in the comments was it a waste that I, that I screw up oh the reason why I switched seats that's one last thing I want to talk about the reason why I switched seats is because this one required no cutting of the bracket and the sparkle sprint that I have required cutting of the bracket but either way it would have been fixed position would have been the same spot yada 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 uh, yeah that's that so appreciate it stay tuned for the next one be putting in the harness bar and putting in the harnesses all right